I'd flown into Sandown Airport on the Isle of Wight on Friday the 28th of May 2021 for their Spamfields Microlite fly-in. I'd parked up with the help of one of the volunteer marshallers by the side of the airfield's southern taxiway. Aircraft were parked in two rows of two either side of the taxiway with sufficient space for taxiing aircraft to pass. The following day, the airfield became very busy. The aerodrome manager said that he'd had 270 arrivals by lunchtime on the Saturday and they were now parking aircraft on the northern taxiway too. The circuit was very busy, with traffic often competing with each other on final approach. There were a lot of go-arounds, as you might expect. In addition to the microlight fly-in, a helicopter operator was flying trial flights to the southwest of the 05 threshold and using opposite circuits to the fixed-wing traffic. I was here to film a short video about Sandown and its charismatic manager Dan Sabani. I'd spent the day following him around and speaking to others at the aerodrome. This will form another episode on the channel in due course. With my filming complete, I ordered pizza and filmed my last piece to camera before jumping into Oscar Romeo to download the latest weather and no-tams for my flight back to Red Hill. But just as I did, Oscar Romeo's port wing was hit by a passing aircraft. OK, uh, so I was going to finish the video there on a really happy, cheerful note. And then this happened. As I was uh, reading the NOTAMs to depart back to Red Hill, um, I looked to my left and saw another PA-28 smash straight into the uh, port, the port wing. And uh, which obviously knocked the aeroplane forward a couple of feet. Uh, it was a nice, nasty wallop, and unfortunately, we've now got some nasty damage. And I wouldn't care to guess about how much damage has been done because, of course, there's the strut for the for the for the wing and so on. I feel for the feel for the other pilot, a, a relatively inexperienced uh, private pilot. These things can and do happen. And uh, you know, it was it was pretty much taxi inattention. I think that's my phone going. I'm just waiting for the air accident investigators to call me back and let me know whether I can leave or whether they need me to stay here. So, I mean, I have had an incident before, not not of this of this scale. And whilst parked up and being in the aeroplane, my, my Oscar Romeo was hit before whilst parked, but I wasn't with it. Um, Obviously, this is a different matter. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm gutted. I'm gutted. But at the same time, you know, I feel for the other guy who's going to be very upset. Of course, being a very famous aeroplane at a very busy event with 300 or more people here, uh, it's attracted quite a lot of attention. So you probably know about this before you've even watched this video. But there we go. These were the photographs I took immediately after the impact. This wasn't just a glancing swipe from a wingtip. I'm not identifying the registration of the other aircraft or its pilot. I've disabled comments on this video because I feel they may cause hurt to the other pilot. He knows his error and is mortified. I just hope he gets back in an aeroplane soon and puts this behind him. Obviously it's for the air accident investigators to determine the cause of this crash, but for what it's worth, here's what I think happened. The pilot was following the Sandown fire and rescue vehicle, which was ahead of it, travelling up the taxiway, a bit like it was in this video earlier in the day. I think the PA-28 pilot was fixated on the vehicle and wasn't paying attention to his position on the taxiway and his proximity to the parked aircraft. I believe my aircraft was parked in line with the others in the row and the wing wasn't fouling the taxiway, but the AAIB may want to investigate this. Thankfully my aircraft was hit and not something far more precious. Many were camping next to their aircraft, many were sitting watching the aircraft go by, children were playing nearby too. This incident perhaps would make me think twice about camping so close to a manoeuvring area in future. 
I've taken a lot of stick on social media for releasing news of this mishap with my supporters club members before making it public. This has been a standard practice of my YouTube channel for a number of years now. My supporters club members give very generously to help me produce content. In return, they get to hear about my stories, learning points and adventures first. There was no urgent safety need that justified changing this practice. Indeed, my supporters club members would rightly have cause for complaint if I didn't let them know about this first. As for Oscar Romeo, we await an engineering inspection. At best, the aileron can be repaired and the aircraft flown to a maintenance facility. At worst, it may have to be hauled out on a trailer. The insurance companies are now in charge and I await contact from the Air Accident Investigation Branch. Fly safely, my friends.